everybody. Thank you for joining us on a, another episode of our Smack That Recap. Our non, non-applicable recap of SmackDown Live uh, from August 15th, 2017 in Providence, Rhode Island. The go-home show for SmackDown's portion of SummerSlam. That's weird when they have the joint pay-per-views, two go-home shows. Yeah. Uh, I'm Chubbs. I am One Take. And like, share, and subscribe. Facebook, home, Twitter, so Instagram, all on the screen. All of them. Smack that all on the screen. It's on the screen. Um, Read it and go. So, four matches on SmackDown's card. My notes, at least half of what my raw notes were. Um, Natalia yeah. defeated Becky Lynch. Woo-hoo. I'm such an idiot about that match. But Rusev uh, versus Chad Gable ended the double countout. The Usos defeated the New Day, which was Xavier and Kofi. Which was uh, not the matchup for SummerSlam. Right. And then Cena defeated Jinder via disqualification, which was not announced. And then something else happened, but we'll talk about that last. So Yeah. Uh Jinder versus Shin- or Jinder and Shinsuke uh will be facing each other at SummerSlam for the WWE title. Summer Shram. Uh, the w, the WW title, if you ask Shinsuke. Uh-huh. I heard, I could have sworn I heard a little drifting E in there. None. Because it rhymed with what he was saying. Maybe that's none. why I heard it. Maybe. There was none whatsoever. It was like he wanted to say it, but I his thought... brain was also like, no, you got to get title out because that's a tough word. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really, I'm done with gender. I was done with gender before. Um. Eh, he's he's served his purpose. It's it's more annoying now. Um, I don't know. He was celebrating Indian uh, Independence Day, right? Uh, which was interrupted by Shinsuke. I fast forwarded through. It was, but it still went on for a while because him and Minion Sing One and Minion Sing Two, uh, they were in the ring. Hyping it up and whatnot, and then there was dancing and this and that, and they had the... Lady was singing something. Yeah, their their national anthem. And then just after, I think, just after she was done, Shinsuke came out and interrupted it. Their national it. anthem sounds sad. Especially with no music. Um, I, actually, I actually tweeted out Shinsuke right in the nick of time, right before I completely spaced out, because I was just getting bored. <laughs> um, so Shinsuke comes out, tells him that it's... Japanese Memorial Day. Cool. Huh. Huh. Eh. I, I don't know. What I'm just. To I'm ready. me. I'm ready. Why did he sing? Why did he sing that? Because they were. He came out and interrupted the singing, so he felt like he needed to sing. Okay, that makes more sense. That's actually funnier now. Oh, I was laughing at it pretty. I good. thought like the way he sang it. I thought he was like singing Happy Birthday in his head. Happy then, birthday to yeah. me. So either way, I'm ready to see Shinsuke take the belt off Jinder. Um, yep. Natalia defeating Becky. I'm such an idiot. All right, so Becky came out, and I knew, obviously I knew they had the match because it sh- said before the commercial break. Um, and Becky came out, and I tweeted. I was like, nice, maybe we'll see uh, some last kicking. And I was like, in my head, I was just like, totally forget that it's against Natalia who's facing Naomi on SummerSlam, so Becky's totally not winning. Right. Um, and so, then Carmella and, and James came out. Carmella's looking hot. Okay. She that was. particular look that she went with Tuesday was not my favorite. I was looking more at her stomach. She looks The way she looked Tuesday was more like a giraffe than normal. I think, I think some of it was because of the, the hairdo she went with. It looked like she went with, like, the 80s jersey, like, yes. whatever. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I didn't care for it that either. But. It doesn't help her face. Agreed, depending on the angle, but... Uh. It doesn't help her neck either. She, she, needs to, she needs to put on some some flub, actually. Yeah, I feel, I feel like, like her neck's stretched out from trying to reach Cass <laughs> to, to kiss him. Because they're dating in real life. Uh... So, like, her neck is elongated. Either way, I don't really care about any of that. I, I don't really have anything to say because, like, I'm okay with the whole Carmella angle because she has been getting better at everything. One of two things is going to happen. One, she'll cash in at SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. 
because you're trying to make SummerSlam WrestleMania 2.0. Big boom. Or she'll wait until WrestleMania because it's the first ever women's money in the bank. Why not make it a WrestleMania moment? I agree with that, and I feel like that's the way they should go. And also... I don't think they're going to based on how this entire show went. Yeah. Uh, I also... I'll save it for the... I have a rumor on that whole thing. Oh, that's right. So um, I'll save it. I figure she cashes in. It's going to be a matter of, like, obviously Ellsworth is going to kind of help her. He'll other... Like, even if... Na- obviously, Naomi will get the win. Maybe she'll be celebrating. And then... Um, Carmella will cash it in. And just as the bell rings, Ellsworth will, like, jump up on the apron and, like, distract her. And then Carmella will come from behind and get the undefeating roll up pin or some crap like that I think somebody else will beat Naomi and then Carmella will cash in and beat that person oh so they're gonna go that way since they're not with the other one <laughs> yes I, th- I think that that's what's gonna happen um but anyway I could deal with either Naomi versus Natalia at SummerSlam for the Smackdown women's title uh, the one this I have no invested care at all in that entire match. None. I, I, I kind of hope that that match is later in the show so that I can use it as a bathroom and snack break. Yeah. That's just my thought on that. I really, I do not care. No. I don't expect Natalia to win, uh, which brings me peace. Well, I didn't expect her to be in it, so... <laughs> That's true. Um, so Rusev versus Chad Gable ended in a double count out. I was annoyed. Like, I, I got why they did it, because it was more for the setup for SummerSlam. Opposed to the actual match, but I feel let, like they could have used Rusev, anybody. Let Rusev win clean, establish a dominance. Yeah, and still give Chad some good TV time to show that he's yeah still beast. Right, and it wasn't like it was a they were both down and out outside for a 10 count. He was getting destroyed by Rusev. So they wanted Rusev count. to look strong going into the SummerSlam like people don't know. Right. Who's this Rusev guy? Is he good? Machka. Either way. Um, and then he calls out Randy. Did he, though? He got Randy out. Sort of. He called him. Randy or <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Randy hit him with an RKO. Out of somewhere. Whatever. Uh, I, that's another match. I actually don't care at all about that because a it seems like a weird match to throw in. Yeah, uh, making Rusev lose, you're burying him. Yeah, and Randy coming off of his battle for the WWE title, does it make sense to have him lose? Like, is he gonna fall even further? I guess it depends on what they're gonna do with the feud. It could just. With how they ended it with Gable, that could be, you know, a, a tip of what the match goes where it just ends up being like a double count out or somebody gets disqualified or whatnot. Oh, well. Either way, SmackDown, you're not making a compelling argument for SummerSlam. Yeah, Slam. as of right now, based on what has happened, that that match is like, A, it just felt like it was like, I got we got we kind of want these guys in SummerSlam. We don't got nothing for either of them to do. Right. Let's force them. Rather than something. say, hey, last year, Randy, you took quite the bump for us at SummerSlam. We're going to give you something to say thank you again, even though we gave you a title reign in the long run out of it. Yeah. Uh, we're going we're gonna to lower you down to this match in which you're going to lose because we can't bury Russo. Like it says, can also depend on if it's just a quick, they wanted the filler feud, or if it's going to be one that gives them a little bit. I don't see it having much. Well, I don't either, but, I mean, it, oh, already, well. it already didn't make sense. <laughs> so, uh, AJ came out to uh, apologize, air quotes, to Shane. Shane said that there wasn't an apology needed. Uh, Kevin Owens came out. There was this whole back and forth. AJ almost punched Shane again. Which, I uh, hate that Shane sold it as you did it on purpose. Yeah, because you knew he didn't. Uh, and either way, he gets a super kick from... Super kick! From Kevin Owens for his troubles. <laughs> which you and I both said 
maybe not super kick specifically, but no, we said, said on gonna... this episode of SmackDown that Kevin Owens would inadvertently hit Shane. Yeah, it was going to be the of... vice versa of what happened. Right. You know, the, the, the funny thing is, is their reasoning for having Shane as a ref has been null and voided two weeks in a row. Yeah, because he can take a hit and keep on yeah, taking. Yeah, and both times it's, he takes the takes the hit, but he needs to sell it, so he's out. Right. Helpful. I just and you know what? First of all, Shane. Huh, this is what he said. He said, "You know why I'm the special guest referee?" I was like, "Cause you're Shane McMahon." Yeah, cause your dad owns the business. Um, when he said to. Oh, that's right. <laughs> AJ accused him of being a threat to the U.S. title and to him in the match, and he said that I, I will, I am no threat. What so have you? What so have you? That's not right. I don't, I'm pretty sure that's not right. That's not somebody. I mean, if there's somebody out there that has used it before, and has heard it used before, uh, but it's usually whatsoever. Yeah, it's not what so have not you. What so have you? Also, um, somebody forgot their cue for Kevin Owens' music. Yeah, so... Because Shane was, like, mid-conversation and then paused. And then they're just looking at each other all awkward. Right, and then he goes to talk again, like, well, I guess I might as well start talking again, and then Kevin Owens' music hit. And I'm sick of them calling Shane, referring to Shane as simply the ref for Sunday. He's still the commissioner of SmackDown. Yeah. Like, he's not... He's not putting down that title to become just the ref. Like, you could still say, oh... AJ just hit the commissioner. The, commi- Kevin Owens the just, commissioner acting as ref. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Owens just hit the commissioner. And I just, oh, they just hit the Shane, the ref on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I don't know. It's Cause, it's, cause they're, this is where I get annoyed. So there's so many times where I'm like, I kind of wish they'd remind us of stuff. Yeah. Because there's time in between so you can forget. But when I they just forgot. point out. huh? I haven't forgot that Shane's the special guest referee. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what this whole segment was about. <laughs> right. Because it was just announced a week ago. I don't need you guys to sell what I already know to me. Two weeks ago. Add some add some uh, lingo in there, some talking points that sell other stuff, like about Kevin Owens and AJ. Yeah. Not what we already know about him being the, the guest ref. Right. So we essentially can conclude from all of this that AJ will retain, and now Kevin Owens is moving on into a feud with Shane. Correct. Again, I don't like how they do that because that's just showing your hand. Correct. I don't like it. And I say that to you as if I expect you to fix it, like right Correct. now. Correct. Whatever. There are oh. people that are like, oh, this is going to be a good feud now. No. No. I'd it, rather see Sammy and KO again. <laughs> it'll be good on Kevin Owens' part as far as mic work yeah. and insults and, and promos. And Shane's gay hand. And Shane with his gay hand, and then it'll just be your typical Shane McMahon match. Spots. Right. Powerbomb. Lose. Yes. Either way. Or they go the route that you had mentioned to me off recording that we'll talk about in our Rumors episode. So you have to tune into that on Sunday. We've been teasing this Rumors episode quite a bit over the Rawthentic episode and now this one. Y'all have to listen. Yeah. All, it's all probably three of you. Not going to have much on it. <laughs> we're gonna forget <laughs> all the rumors. Uh, so the Usos were backstage talking to Daniel Bryan. Funny segment. Apparently doesn't know how to fist bump. <laughs> Didn't he just grab their hands and then blow them up? Yeah, he was just like ah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's they're, definitely I, funny. I think they're now that he's a father. Yes. they're trying to play into that. Yes, one. it was yeah. because he's a dad now. That's what made that funny. For yeah, me. so they're making all. I mean, because he's always been kind of awkward with stuff like that, but I feel like they're doing more so to try to make it dad joke worthy. Yes, and they're succeeding. Yeah. Um, so that was funny. But they wanted to know who was fighting for the New Day at SummerSlam. Which is uh, Big E. Xavier and, and Big E. Uh, Xavier and Big E? Yeah. Good. I'm glad that Xavier is there. This, this, this sucks because I like all three of them. I yeah. really like Kofi. I really like Big E. And I really like Xavier. Yeah. But I just... I haven't felt like they give Xavier enough. Did Side note, did you know that when they won the belts, it's the first time in Xavier's career that he's been the one in, in the a match, match that won a belt. 
You get what I'm saying? Like, so yep. when New Day, all the ones they won, he either wasn't in the Yeah, it's always been match, Kofi and Big E. Or not the one to pin. Right. And this was the first one he was. He was pretty excited about um, it. I actually had was hoping that it was going to be Xavier and Kofi at SummerSlam. Yeah. And then the Usos request a, a handicap match against Big E for SmackDown. Yeah. Instead of... Xavier and Kofi for SmackDown because it's Xavier and Big E. That would have been cool, but also they're not going to do that just because it is a tag match and they're trying to hype it up as a tag match, so. It's not how they work. <laughs> I'm not saying I wouldn't have been okay with what you said. I'm just saying that's... You know my reasoning, though, right? Uh, probably. I mean, even if... Because first, if it was... So it's Xavier and Big E. If they were like, we want a, a handicap match against Kofi tonight, that's not really fair. Cause, yeah, you want to take out the big guy. Right, you take out the big guy. You take out the guy that's... If if it was Xavier and Kofi at SummerSlam, you take out who's going to be in the corner. Yeah, it literally could have So been, then it is just a tag match. And yeah. And there's no... And they literally could have had it where they instantly got themselves, based on last week especially. Yeah. Don't even have they just come out and grab chairs and just beat the crap out of E until the other guys get in and they they take off right. Uh, yeah, um, because I also think that you need the Usos to win at SummerSlam, or you know what they could have done to play into what they had already been doing is they could have had the New Day's music hit and like they don't come out right away. And you're like, what the hell? And then it's just Kofi and Xavier, and they're just like, okay, so they start going through their whole thing. And then the Usos come out, and then as the match is going, they could have you know cut to the the uh, jumbotron and have Big E like in the back taken out because New Day took him out, and that's why they couldn't find him. Yeah, I mean something. Yeah. Um, but I still say. Why well, just say that? Because you know last week the New Day came out with the chairs. Right. Yeah. They didn't play into that at all this week. This if the Usos lose. At SummerSlam, this feud's over. Correct. Wait, who's going... How, what? Unless they bring somebody up, really push the fashion police, which that would have to turn New Day heels again. Yeah, I mean, it would. Ha you'd have to reveal that it was the New Day that trashed the office. I mean... There's also been, yeah. there's also been the rumors of the superstar shakeup may change some things as well right uh which i i want to talk about regarding the clue from the fashion peaks episode this week or the this week i was gonna ask you guys about because i feel like i should know something i just was like, i have no idea so either oh, way <laughs> the um ascension returned the pie that they had destroyed <laughs> they didn't eat it they just destroyed it uh and freeze the devil they found uh, yeah, gluten's the devil. My bad. Yeah, they found a piece of gluten in it, a hair, a band aid, and a note that just said the word to B. The number the the Spelt number that word to T W O B B. So what's something that's two Bs? Do you know of any tag teams that are B B? No. A wrestler that's B B. No. Me either. Adam Cole, baby. BB. No, um, I it really. So I, w I was sold on it being the Good Brothers. Yeah. There's two brothers, even though they're not brothers. They're uh, good. the the Blue Rose. Because. Well, it started out red, then the one on the board was blue. Gallows has a blue rose tattoo. Right under his bicep. Right. Uh, and then the syrup on the on the wood syrup. Would be too sweet, right? That's all I got. That makes sense. I mean, it still could be. Shout out to B for pointing that out. Uh, I just didn't think of that because as much as I don't like like sweet foods, like I don't think a maple syrup is too sweet. No, I don't either. Um, Maybe it's because we grew up on it. I just t I don't understand the two two B, unless it was like to be continued. That's what I was thinking, but that, then it would have been T-O-O, -O, not T-W-O. It'd be T-O. Yeah, that's what I said. It's because T-W-O had three letters, and I was just replacing one of them because I'm an idiot. So, I... T. 
to be or not to be? I don't like. I can't think of any two Bs. Bam Bam Bigelow. Dead. That's three Bs. Bam Bam. <laughs> From the Flintstones. Yeah. I just I don't. And I don't know of any other wrestlers that, like, if they haven't been around, maybe debuting. Maybe coming up from NXT, like I don't, I can't think of anyone, tag teams or individuals. If it was three B, I can think of Bam Bam Bigelow. Duh. No three three M B. No three M B. Yeah. Um, but that's not going to happen. McIntyre's back. Right, uh, but he's going to be at NXT for a little 2B. while. B. And it won't be Alistair Black because that's A B. Right. It's not Bobby Roode. He's not even in the Authors tag team. Authors of Pain doesn't even have a B. No, Heavy Machinery Sanity has doesn't. no B. Right. This ha- like there ha- it has to be something that it's probably going to be wordplay. Toby, Toby. Is there anybody named Toby? Flunderson. That's the one I can think of. Uh, I don't know, but just kick me out of the meeting. We'll see. Um, so Cena defeated Jinder in, because of disqualification because while pinning him after giving him a super AA. Which actually looks like it would hurt opposed to his regular AA. That right. just bores me. Uh, Baron Corbin comes in and... Hit Cena with, hit a, Cena. with a contract. Right. <laughs> uh, give him a nasty paper cut. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was actually in the middle of tweeting out a response to this when it went a different way and I had to delete it. Here's, okay, so, surprise, Baron Corbin decides to try and cash in his Money in the Bank contract. I have several problems with this. Well, yeah. All right, so now that we're saying that, one of the reasons I said Carmella May is because they did this with Baron on SmackDown. Yeah. Therefore, it was their way of getting rid of one that they wanted to do on SummerSlam. So they wouldn't have two of them in one show? Yeah, I still say they're going to save it for Mania. No, rightfully they should because it's the first of it should be yeah. a WrestleMania moment. Yes. But the same, they're also looking at ratings kind of being low now, so they're rushing and doing stuff. Well, which is another rumors that I've read... Which is another excuse for the Finn Balor being the demon. Given rumors that I've read, um, Mania. It should be. Um, Anyways, my bad. I forgot. I was going to say a rumor. Yeah, you didn't tell me what it was, so I can't remind you. Oh, well. Sorry, everybody. Got you to listen to this one, though, didn't I? Uh, uh-huh. So, all right. So, Corbin essentially takes out Cena, which makes sense because they have their match at SummerSlam. Right, and that's but, the only reason I thought it was. Right. Then as he's leaving, he looks in the ring, sees Jinder still down. Looks at his briefcase, which I liked how they did that. Yeah. He runs in and he cashes it in. And then, for the first time ever on a Money in the Bank cash-in, the ref waits to make sure that the other, that the champion in it question... It wasn't just me then. No. Make sure that the champion in question is physically able to compete. Yeah, before he rings the bell. Right. That doesn't happen. All that he had so to either. do was just go in, say, I'm cashing in, lay down on gender, three count, Boom. That's what I thought, too. Yes. It's been so long since I've seen a, a, a cash-in that I couldn't That's remember. why it was weird to me. I wrote awkward sequence, because that's well, not well, how that it and, happened. And Baron was paying too much attention to knowing where Cena was. Yeah. Like, he kept looking, and they were focusing on him too much, so right. that kind of took out of it as well. Uh, he hit Cena with a nice right hook. Yeah. Uh, well, and he was then a Golden Gloves boxer. So. Right. And then gets rolled up by Jinder. Because um, that's the most deadly maneuver there is a surprise roll up right, especially on somebody that's fresh and hasn't just been through a match and hyped yeah i i mean i would rather have seen him actually get the pin attempt on gender where then either cena you know returns the favor or gender kicks out because it, he'd been down for a while anyway right um I also would have liked to have seen, because you saw Baron 
went to the ref and he was yelling, no, that was two. Yeah. I would have liked the kick out to have happened sooner so it would have been at least close. Yeah, not so he three had an and argue. a half and then a kick out. Yeah, so at least then he had an yeah. arguing point. Um, I feel like they, they had him win it because they wanted to build up for him. They've lost some, I don't want to use the word hope, but they've lost some hope on him, so they decided to get rid of the money in the bank or get it off from him, so it just made everything feel like a waste to me. Right. I think that might have been the rumor that I was going to mention. Yes. Because he's got some heat, um, basically, for some comments that he made to Dave Meltzer on Twitter. Uh, I don't know I don't know as if that has anything to do with it, but I'm assuming that... Because the original plan, I believe, was for Shinsuke to beat Jinder, and then Baron Corbin was going to cash in. And possibly lose then. And possibly lose then. Or, or possibly win. Or possibly win. But either way, the belt's coming off gender. Right. Now, I don't know as if that's the case. No pun intended. This is a brief Well, case. now it just makes me think that it's just Shinsuke's going to win and they're going to have him have it for a while. And it's also been rumored with that that it'll end up going into where... Uh, AJ will be in the Royal Rumble, win it, and then they'll face each other at WrestleMania. A, I don't want him to hold it from now until WrestleMania. B, maybe since the whole botch with Cena and there is a punishment looming for him, he's probably going to lose at SummerSlam. You really think they're going to... Because I've heard that they're, they're, they're done with gender because they're not getting as much out of it here as they thought they were going to. They were, Are they really that surprised? Vince was really expecting to get the anti-American heel heat, and it be uh, people are going to tune in because they want to see him lose, oh. not thinking that people don't care. Because even though he has gotten a lot better, he's, he's still, Canadian. He's not exciting to watch. <laughs> I get I mean? it if you do it with Rusev. It works with Rusev. Yeah, and it plus worked with and Rusev. plus Rusev. Rusev can do a lot more in the ring. Yeah, like Jinder has gotten better. I'm definitely. One that will give him his props because he has gotten a lot better. His matches are a lot more fluid and they actually look like matches now opposed to what the hell are you doing? Yeah. So good on him, but in the same, and I don't mean this as like talking down on gender, but he's just, he's not, a, he's not exciting to watch. No. I mean, if any, this is what I, here's what you do. And I don't really want them to do this long term, but this would be something that would probably help. You bring up Drew McIntyre to main roster you fo- in the shakeup, you end up with all three members of 3MB on the same show. Right. Jinder being significantly larger than he used to be. Yeah. Drew being significantly larger than he used well, to be. More ripped anyway. He was always big. He's, he's definitely thicker. Yeah, he's 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 toned up, so he definitely looks it. Yeah. yeah. He was he was borderline scrawny when he first debuted. Oh yeah, but that was also. Um. Eight years ago. So with the two of them being significantly larger in in stature, right? They form a tag team. Heath's trying to get into it, but they don't want him in because <laughs> he's still Heath. He's tiny Heath. Like he doesn't fit their whatever their dynamic anymore. Yeah. Don't make it a don't make it a two man band. Like just make it something. But let Gender work with Drew. In a tag team, it's not, it's not that random of a tag team pairing. It's not Heath and Rhino. It's not Goldust and Our Truth. This like they've been paired before, right? So it would make sense, and let them do some work together. And then you really want Heat on Jinder. Let him turn on Drew. Yeah, cause that'll do it. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not saying. I'm, I, and then you get gender out of the main title picture. I, I don't, I don't want to see them as a tag team, but that's besides the point. I mean, I could, I yeah, could, I don't need to see it. Um, well, I'm also saying that just based on a with Drew coming back and being on fire, I feel like putting him in a tag team with gender is going to take the air out of his sails. Not only to the fans, but his gimmick. I, I can, I get your logic behind it. But with him moving up, when he does move up to the main roster, yeah. I feel it should be 
He's not moved up from the top of NXT to the top of the main roster. No, you start at the bottom. You should start at the bottom. And so while he's on his way up. But in the same, it's also Drew McIntyre that's been there before, so it's not completely as applicable. You know what I mean? It is in the fact that he was a bust originally. Yeah. He was the Jamarcus Russell of Well, he, of he'll even say he just figured, you know, things were... Yeah. Some things were being handed to him, and right. instead of working for it, he was handpicked like, by Vince. He, yeah. was, he was even billed as Vince's Vince's guy. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like him starting at the bottom and needing to work his way up the main roster is is legit storyline. No, him. I'm I'm okay with that. Just putting him in a in a tag team with Gender, just even though it, it makes sense as far as obviously they know each other. Otherwise, it's just. It doesn't even have to be a lengthy one. It could last a month where Jinder realizes that Drew's taken off without him and he just he attacks Drew. He gets the heel heat on Jinder. They have a, a brief feud where they fight each other where Drew gets over on Jinder. And then, boom. Yeah, I can deal with it more as long as it's not lengthy. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not saying it shouldn't even be more than like a month. Maybe two. Word. But... I don't know. Um, either way, it's I don't know where they're going with this. Uh, so, you know, it's funny, though, because he had the hole where he was holding the invisible briefcase up and doing the you can't see me because his briefcase That's is gone. That's what that was. I thought he was having a stroke. No, he was pretending he was holding the briefcase up and going, it's gone, you can't see yeah, it. Yeah, now I get yeah. it. Uh, so, speaking of, well, we weren't really speaking of it, but speaking of trolls, uh, the girl in the front row at SmackDown. Right by the ramp. That uh, was she by the ramp? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. It was in like that corner area yeah. by the stairs. Yeah, yeah. She um decided to express her displeasure with John Cena. I can't imagine like like even even the wrestlers that I don't like. I can't imagine being at an event and feeling that I needed to do that. Yeah, I don't. Like, if you cut me off driving, sure, I'll flip you off. Yeah, but gonna, that's yeah, but that's real life. It's not going to accomplish anything. Buttholes opposed to character-driven story. Right. Where I know it's a story. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, even, I know you said you would, but I can't imagine... I can't imagine being at a wrestling event and booing a wrestler to boo. Like, it's one thing to be like, this happened, I don't like it, this was really stupid, I'm going to boo the situation. Right, like if Natalia were to beat Naomi... I will audibly go, boo! It'd be more of booing the situation opposed to booing her. Yeah. But I'm talking about, like, even them, them showing the Finn as the demon early. Oh, I'm booing that. It's a boo factor that. for me. Yeah. But, I like, I showed you the thing in NXT with Bobby Roode when he was... This dude is, like, 30-plus years old, maybe even in his 40s. Yeah. And was, like, turning Brock Lesnar bright red. <laughs> Because he was booing Bobby Roode so hard, and like in his face, yeah, aggressive thumbs down. <gasps> I'm just like, I feel bro. Like, I feel like Bobby went backstage after and laughed at it. Probably laughed in his face, like, bro, you're, you're an adult. I mean, Cena pretty much laughed in this girl's face. Yeah, it was funny because she had her her hand leaned up on the the barrier, and he like bumped it off to lean his own arm there, there to like lean on his own arm. Because his was arm laughing. was as big as her. her. Well, at least her face, because she looked like she was probably as wide as she was tall. Yeah. I I just don't get it. Like, whatever. I mean, if she went home that night and slept good, okay. I'm happy for you. I probably wouldn't have cared as much of it. The look on her face is what bugged me, because like, she was literally just so proud of herself. Look how awesome I am, and it's just like, no. Yeah. You're not. I don't know if that was her dad or her boyfriend next to her, but he was all like, you Both? tell him. Both? Probably. <laughs> I don't know much about Providence, Rhode Island. Yeah, I don't either. I only, I've driven through it and whatnot, but uh, so my yeah. dad cussed at a woman at McDonald's in Rhode Island. That's all I remember. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm more looking forward to Raw's portion of SummerSlam. I'm looking forward to AJ and Kevin Owens because it's AJ and Kevin Owens. I'm right. not looking forward to where the story's going to go. Yes. I, that's going to end horribly because they're progressing the story. Right. Uh, the the SmackDown tag team title match. To be honest, that's gonna probably that them and KO and AJ are gonna be the two SmackDown ones that that steal. I'm based on the last pay per view, the SmackDown one. Yeah, Battleground. Yeah, the 
Usos and New Day, that was the best match on the card. Yeah. I mean, because you compare the two sides, all right? So SmackDown, and I'll do, I'll do, all right, random match, random match. You have Rusev versus Randy Orton. No investment. And then on the Raw side, you have Big Cass versus Big Show. No investment. No investment, but probably going to be a better match. Wait, what's going to be a better match? Yeah. I think Big Show and, and Cass is going to be a better match than... It's going to be a better match because story. Yeah. Um, then you have women's title. You have Becky versus Naomi. It, Raw And then wins. you have Sasha versus Alexa. Raw's better. You have the U.S. title, Kevin Owens versus AJ. I don't know what they're doing for Intercontinental. Yeah, we don't know if it's... I'm assuming it's supposed to be... Jason Jordan and... Yeah, and The Miz. Miz. Uh, I'll give the edge to SmackDown. Just because of who's involved, opposed to the other match may be better, depending right. on story-driven. Uh, John Cena versus Baron Corbin, and then you have Demon Finn versus Bray. Even though it's too soon, I am looking more forward to Demon to Finn match. versus Bray. Yeah. Yes. Um, tag titles. You have Seth and Dean versus Cesaro and Sheamus on Raw. And then you have Usos and New Day. That's that's kind of a wash. It's a toss up. I'm gonna give a slight slight edge to SmackDown on that one. I am just because I feel like the we'll say five of them have more chemistry. Yeah. Uh, a because they're close in real life and have had a pretty lengthy feud here, right. back and forth. And then Jinder Shinsuke or the Fatal, Fatal Four, Four Way. Way. Fatal Four Way. Hands. I love Shinsuke to death. But it's against gender. But it's against gender. And the fatal four way Joe and Roman. You can't tell me that that. I wish all their real names were Joe. <laughs> fatal Joe way. <laughs> um, plus. Uh, I couldn't even remember Braun's real name the other day. I was like, what the hell is his name? <laughs> Adam. Yeah, it's Adam. Uh, and I know there's some other. There's the cruiserweight match, which you're going to get technically raw side. Uh, I forgot about that. You, you still may have the Hardys and... Oh, yeah, the Hardys versus... Uh, the Minimum of the Good Brothers. Or the Taraj. Or the Taraj, yeah. Or the, maybe they'll make it the Taraj and the Good Brothers and just replace the Revival with the Taraj. Could do that. Why not? Like, Might as well. Put it on the pre-show. Are they really going to put the Hardys on the pre-show, though? Yeah. Eh, uh, what else? I either way, uh, Raw has a better card for SummerSlam than SmackDown. I mean, technically they should because they have the larger roster of the two and right, whatnot. But right, I, there needs to be some. See, now they can't even do the giant swerve of Baron Corbin cashing in on Raw's main event. Yeah, which would have been awesome. Mind blown. No, it would have been great. That would have been the highlight of the night. Even if he even if he lost it. So if they do us a double swerve and Carmella does it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want her on Raw. <laughs> Unless she's gonna cash in against Brock. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Dude, so, somebody was making a joke I think it was Ollie the Davis, he was making a joke because he doesn't really care for Baron Corbin. He was saying, Why don't do, I mean, they're already kind of burying the cruiserweights. Just have Baron cash in and win the cruiserweight championship and then cancel the cruiserweights. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. Only based on how they're booking them now. Yeah. No, I... I don't know. It, it's going to be interesting. Uh, as far as I know, they're still, like, fine-tuning the, the final card. Yeah. Um, but we'll have our predictions episode for you. It'll be up Sunday. Um... We'll have a prediction episode for NXT TakeOver. That'll be up Saturday. Which I'm pretty sure there's still only going to be four matches. I have to get that done pretty quick on Saturday. Yeah. Because right. it's going to be uh, Ember and Asuka. Drew and Rude. Drew and Rude. Uh, AOP and Sanity. Alistair and Hideo. Alistair and Hideo. Johnny and CN. Johnny and CN. Okay, so five matches. Are they going to... Well, I wish they were going to throw in a UK title defense. Uh, um, Pete Dunn got hurt. Did he actually really get hurt? I know he got busted open. He was bleeding. 
Uh, he he got a pretty bad concussion, and he ha- he ended up getting a ton of stitches on the side of his head. Are they going to strip him of the title? No, nah. he he'll, he'll he'll be fine. He just, I think that he didn't get medically cleared for the title defense he was supposed to do against Jack. Yeah. In progressive, or in progress, I mean. Right. Um, because of the stitches, they were afraid a where it was that they just it would easily rip open and do more damage, so they didn't medically clear him. I gotcha. Well. I mean, he's the he's a bruiser weight. He's gonna be okay. I I want to see more of of. I want to see more Pete of Dunn. British strong style together. Yeah. Because the stuff I see of them on the indies, not only do they look hilarious, they're badass. That one thing I can't remember what Tyler Tyler Bate took. I don't know if they had a match against War Machine. They took a guy that was the size of Big Beard. I know they both have big beards, but bigger beard. Yeah, Hanson. Yeah. Took a guy his size, Tyler did, put him up on his shoulders to do the helicopter thing that he does. As he was getting ready to do it, Pete Dunn was in the corner. Um, I can't remember. Trent Seven was kind of like Hayes knocked out sitting down in the opposite corner. Pete Dunn goes r- running over and he's smacking him. He's smacking him. He's like all excited. He's like pointing at Tyler. He's like, look at this, look at this, look at this. And then... Tyler just starts doing the helicopter with this huge guy on his shoulders. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I would, I would definitely Pete Dunn, especially. But if I wish they would just scrap the idea of the um, UK show that they want to do. I do for I don't. now. Yeah, not like, completely, but for yeah. now, and allow these guys to get on the main roster. Uh, Be on all the shows every other week. Yeah. That that would actually help get more hype around yeah. a build up for the UK show. Have them be on both shows, but just every other week. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. I definitely want to see more, especially progress because I I like what they do mostly. It's basically a whole bunch of matches like what we saw with Pete Dunn and Tyler at the Takeover, Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Was it Chicago? I don't know. I think so. Texas. Maybe. San Antonio? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, San Antonio. Either way, uh, this episode is... Over. Half an hour longer than we had anticipated. So, good for us. Uh, Like, share, subscribe. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All on the screen. Do all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, Check Check out, out. as we've mentioned numerous times, our rumors episode coming out... Sunday. Sunday. Our, Our... our predictions episodes coming out Saturday and Sunday. Yep, to we'll take have, over than SummerSlam, respectively. We'll have an NXT episode coming out soon. Yeah, uh, depending on that. We might start doing that earlier if we can. Yeah, we may start doing these earlier if it works out well. Yeah, we'll see. Um, so, yeah, deuces. Double deuces. Yee, yee! Yee, yee!